ביו משנה ג', explanation for משנה ג'. משנתנו חוזרת ללמד בעניין עירובי חצרות. We're going to go back to the topic of making an עירוב within houses that share the same courtyard. אנשי חצר, this is actually an interesting concept. Um, people of the yard, היינו הדיירים שבקומה התחתונה של הבית שבחצר. Means the residents that are in the lower level of the courtyard. You remember they may, used to make flat roofs at the time, and sometimes they used to sublet the roof to another family. And another family used to live on the roof of your house. Second story. Second story. Yeah. Usually it will be the roof, can be also second story. Can be third story, yeah. ואנשי מרפסת, they call the guys on the second floor, אנשי מרפסת, people of the balcony. היינו, הדיירים שבקומה העליונה של הבית. They are the people who live on the second floor of the bite, of the, of the house. But the, now the people from the second floor need to go, need a way to go down to the courtyard. or to the street, or to whatever. So usually they have a balcony, they go down, stair through the, and there's a balcony over there, on the stairs. שיש להם מרפסת משותפת. And on the way, these two guys have a shared balcony. In other words, the guys on the lower level um, use the balcony, and the guys on the upper level, also when they come down, they, they go through the balcony, and they also have a use of the balcony. Both have a use of the balcony. וממנה הם יורדים מדרגות לחצר, and from that balcony they come down into the courtyard. In such a case, in such a ideal, when you have two residents in the same courtyard, but almost in the same house, what do you do? ששכחו ולא ערבו, they forgot, and they didn't make a, an ערב. So l- l- let's think about it. Some, theoretically you, you, you can say that the people, Well, but it's different residents. Mm-hmm. But it's different residents. Even in the same house, if you've got five residents, each one has a room, right? So each one will need. Each one needs yeah, right. And, and we said there's a debate if they're all open to the courtyard, if they're not all open to the courtyard. But nevertheless, this has a way to get to the courtyard. So it's like he has like his opening to the courtyard. Because they have the common balcony. So let's see. She ve lo irbu. They forgot and did not make an eruv. Eruv chatserot elu im elu. They did not make an eruv of the courtyard, this one and this one. Kedei sheyochlu anshay amupeset lootziv lachnis mbatem lachatser, so that the people of the balcony will be able to enter objects from their houses into the courtyard. Elo irvu elu leatzmam ve elu leatzmam. So there's many people in the, in the courtyard. And there's many people on the second floor, yeah? Or you, you can say even on the one roof, you can have many people living in a structure in the bottom and, many, and five families in the bottom, five families on top. The five in the bottom made an Eruv. And the five in the top made an Eruv. But they didn't make an Eruv between each other. We're gonna, that's the thing. Because they're living, it says, why would you, they need to make an Eruv within each other? They can just make an individual Eruv each one. Yeah, but why can't they just, if there's 10 families, just make an Eruv within the 10 families. There's five on the top, five on the bottom, right? But they have to do between them themselves. Yeah, make all 10. Everybody can open the court. That's how, all 10 should make an Eruv, that's it. Over here it's a street. All 10 should make an Eruv in the courtyard, and that's it. What, hap- what happened over here is, look, look what happened. The five in the bottom made an Eruv, The five in the top made an Eruv. He says, wh- wh- why would you even do that? Because the five on the top, living on the top, they share the top of the building. And the fi- five in the bottom share the courtyard. So that, that's the thinking. You understand what they're thinking? Yeah, okay. So this one made for themselves, and this one made an Eruv for themselves. So what, what's the conclusion? 
אנשי המרפסת מותרים להוציא ולהכניס מבתיהם למרפסת. It is the people of the balcony are allowed to go take objects from their houses to the balcony. ואנשי החצר מותרים להוציא להכניס מבתיהם לחצר. And the people in the courtyard are allowed to um, take things into the courtyard. And now comes the, the problem. What, what, what do you mean they're allowed to take people, things into the courtyard? Didn't we say that if you have two houses, you remember leaving one behind the other, if the, the back one did the Eruv, so they are allowed to travel through, but the front one now is not allowed because 50% of them For sure, but not only the top should, the bottom one shouldn't be able to go into the courtyard. Why they made the Yeah, they made an Eruv, but the, co- the, the, the fact that the top one goes through them, it's like they are, sh- you remember we, we said they are like partners. But they go in a place that they made the Eruv. Yeah, but 50% of the congregants didn't make, the top <laughs> guys did not make. So it's like you, you have a lot of the, and we said that, that when there's 50, 50% don't I have? So what's going on over here? It says, And the fact that the second floor is allowed to go into the courtyard, that should nullify the first floor's rights in the courtyard. Because they have people over there in the courtyard now that didn't make an error. Not only they can't, they, they, let's say they can't, but we leave that to the side, they can't, but the fact that they can't now should make the first floor not able to carry. Why? Because the second floor has d- a through way. It's okay, almost like you, you, you can say they have a through way through the courtyard. Oh, that, that's, what we t- that's, what that's what you're saying. That's exactly what he's saying. It's li- that's exactly what we're learning now. That it is different. How? And reset a regel shel anshe amir peset b'chatzert oseret al anshe achatzer. It says that the the fact that the people in the courtyard um, walked in the um, are allowed to walk over there does not prohibit the people of the chatzer. Why? She regel hamuteret b'mkoma because since they're allowed to walk in their courtyard, it doesn't forbid not in its place. Okay. But it's going to become, it's not that easy, as we're going to see. see. Now, in the courtyard, there's going to be structures. There's going to be like pillars or whatever in the courtyard. So it says like this. They didn't make an eruv. Between themselves. So it means that everything within the courtyard, the people of the courtyard can handle. And everything on the top, the people on the top. Oh, so now it, we're going to have in the courtyard things that are considered to be the top. Okay. How? Because they're taller than what? Than ten tfachim. So th- now, what about those places? Are the people of the courtyard allowed to use those places, or are the people on the balcony allowed to use those places? So let's see. Kol shegavua asarat tfachim. Anything that is higher than ten tfachim, kol arimtza b'chatzer shu gavoa ma'asara tfachim, that is higher than ten tfachim, ki gon tel, for example, a mound, or a mood, or a pillar, ha'samuch l'mirpeset, that he has to be close to the balcony, harei hu shayach l'mirpeset, if it's more than ten tfachim, it belongs to the second floor. Yeah, because, ve'anshi ha'mirpeset mutarim l'ishtamesh bo, and the people of the balcony are allowed to use them, it's their, it's their area. אבל לא אנשי החצר, but the people of the courtyard, even though it's on in the courtyard, they're not allowed to use it. שהואיל ותשמישו נוח לאנשי המרפסת, since its use is comfortable, easy, for the people on the second floor, ולא לאנשי החצר, and not to the people of the courtyard, הרי הוא נחשב כרשותם של אנשי המרפסת. We're going to consider those places in the courtyard like belongs to the second floor. פחות מכאן, what happens if it's less than 10 טפחים? אבל אם התל או העמוד הוא גבוה פחות מעשרה טפחים, הואיל ואנשי המרפסת אינם יכולים להשתמש בו בנקל, since the people of the, court, of the second floor can't twitch it comfortably, it belongs to לחצר, it belongs to the people in the courtyard. 
בגמרא מבואר, the Gamora expands on it and it says, אף לחצר. It doesn't say only to the חצר, it says also to the חצר. כלומר, שמקום זה שייך גם לאנשי המרפסת וגם לאנשי החצר. That this place actually belongs to both. וכיוון שלא ירבו אלו עם אלו, שניהם אסורים להשתמש בו. It says, so if it's higher than ten tfachim, only the balconies. If it's lower than ten tfachim, no one. No one. וכן, the same thing, חוליית הבור והסלע. When we come to the boundary of the pit or the rock, we're going to explain what it means. כשחופרים בור, when you dig a hole, מניחים סביבה בתעפר. You're going to put above the hole, I mean around the hole, you're going to put the dirt from the hole. שמוציאים מתוכו להיות לא מעקה. It says, why do you do it? So that people don't going to fall into the hole. You make like a boundary, like to make sure that the animals or the people aren't going to walk inside. Afar ze nikra chuliyat abor. This mound is called the chuliyah of the bor. Ve'im chuliyat abor ve'asela shebechatser gvoyim asara tfachim, same thing over here, if the mound or the grok is higher than ten tfachim, ve'smuchim lamelpeset, and obviously they have to be close to the balcony, ke mevoar la'alan, like we explain, למרפסת, it belongs to the balcony, שייכים הם לאנשי המרפסת, it belongs to the people on the second floor, ומותר להם להשתמש עליהם, and they're allowed to use that as a, a use, as a, whatever they want to use it for, אבל לא לאנשי החצר, but not to the people of the field. פחות מכאן, less than that, אם היו גבוהים פחות מעשרה טפחים לחצר, then they belong to the courtyard. כלומר, like we said before, also to the courtyard. כמו שביארנו למעלה, and the Gamora is going to say not to, not to this and not to this. <coughs> ושניהם אסורים להוציא להכניס ממנו את הנשם, and they're both going to be prohibited to take or enter from them. במה הדברים אמורים? What are we talking about? That what? שכל שהוא גבוה עשרה טפחים נותנים אותו למרפסת, that anything that is above ten טפחים immediately goes to the second floor. בסמוכה, obviously we're talking about only when the pillar is close to the balcony. כל שהוא גבוה עשרה, eh, בחוליה שהיא סמוכה למרפסת, in the pillar that is very close to the balcony. חוליה היא דוגמה לכל דבר גבוה עשרה טפחים. חוליה is anything that is high. אבל במופלגת, but something which is, yes? You know, throwing and taking the same thing. You don't have to throw, you don't have to take. אבל במופלגת, But when it comes to, um, if the pillar is far away from the balcony, she rechuka min ha-mirpeset, it is far away. Ho'il ve'gam la'anshe ha-mirpeset na nochal shimush now, also the people in the balcony, it's too hard for them to reach it. Afilu gvoa asvara tfachim, even if it's high, ten tfachim, la'chatser, it belongs to the courtyard. Let's see if it really belongs to the courtyard, or it doesn't belong to the courtyard, nobody can use it. הרי שייכת אף לאנשי החצר, it belongs to the people of the courtyard, ושניהם מוצאים להוציא לשם לכלי הבתים, and therefore they're both not allowed to, because even the people of the, of the courtyard, it's not comfortable a place to use it. So not allowed to use it, עד שיערבו אלו עם אלו. In other words, anything above ten tfachim in the courtyard, it belongs to the balcony. Everything below ten tfachim, if it's close, everything below ten tfachim though, belongs to no one. Guys, you can't use it. You didn't make an error. We don't know who it belongs to. It's a suffolk. So therefore, you don't use it, and you don't use it. Ve'ezu is smucha. And what do you call close? How, how much is close? Kol she'ena ruchoka arba tfachim. Four tfachim is close. More than four tfachim is considered to be far. Sh'amechak v'chiyat abor v'asela v'chiyotze b'ezer 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 When the second floor has a reach within four tfachim to the pillar, that's called close. Even if you're a big guy and you can get five tfachim, that's it, it's done. Okay.